Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. How are we doing today? Happy new month to each and every one of us listening to me today. So I remain my humble self, Eminent Augusta. You all are welcome to the Alpha Lion Entrepreneur channel. So I'm so excited to be with us today because I have something interesting to discuss with us today. Now, please, I need us, each and every one of us, to know that if you are consuming my the content that i dish out here the information i dish out here and you're not acting on it just know that knowledge is no longer power rather applied knowledge becomes powerful in your hand just know that you are just like someone that keep eating food without going to the restroom because you need to the food you're eating needs to digest and do its work in the body that is how information is so today what are we talking about I'm so excited and I appreciate those of us that have been giving me feedback on how the content that they are, the information they are receiving from this channel is impacting their life, how it's changing their life because they made a decision to apply, to apply, um, the, to apply action, to apply the knowledge that they've been receiving, putting it to work, putting it to good work. Yes, because it's not about receiving information. It's about you acting on the information that you've received to make it powerful in your hand. So today, I'll be discussing about a pillar of success. Now, there are a lot of things, there are a lot of factors that comes into success. Why am I saying this? Because I've seen it happen to me. I've experienced it and I knew how hard I worked to overcome it. So my goal today is to make each and every one of us become uncomfortable. My aim today is to make each and every one of us break our mental barrier, our, our physical barrier. Um, my, my, my mission today, this morning, in the next 15 or 10 minutes, is to make sure that each and every one of you listening to me, you are growing more, you are becoming better, you are becoming a different person. I need each and every one of you listening to me today to start doing uncomfortable things, things that make you uncomfortable. Start doing it today, not tomorrow. So today, I'll be speaking about procrastination. Yes. Procrastination. What's procrastination? Procrastination is you pushing to tomorrow what you can do today. Yes. So let me ask each and every one of us, what areas of our life have we been procrastinating? What areas of our life have we been shy to take action on that we keep postponing, pushing it off to the next day, the next day, the next day? Now, I need each and every one of us to know that the thing that I do, some persons will meet me, hi, Eminette Augusta, you've really achieved great success. I really admire you at a very young age, less than 30 years old, and you've achieved massive success. You've achieved quite a whole lot of things. Now, I always tell people, I'm not the bravest, bravest neither am I the smartest, neither am I that intelligent. But what I know I do is that I beat my mates to success by outworking them. I choose to take action towards things I want to do. I take action. I don't procrastinate. When I want to do something, I get it done. I dare my dreams. So I, 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 I always tell people, I always tell myself, I would rather apologize for things I've done than apologize for things I didn't do and later come to regret about it. So if I'm to compete with each and every one of you listening to me here today, if I'm to compete with each and every one of you, I'm going to beat each and every one of you. Why? Because I work hard. I work smart and I choose to do more. Now, the most powerful word in the English language is do, D-O. Many of us are not ready to do anything. Most of us are not ready to do anything. Do something today that can change your life tomorrow. I would rather do things wrong than choose not to do at all just to, for the sake of being right or to avoid criticism and negativity. Each and every one of us cherish a diamond but a diamond underwent a process a lot of time and pressure was applied in order for it to become a precious diamond many of us want to become diamonds many of us want to have diamond but we don't want to undergo the process 80 percent of you listening to me today will only listen but you will not act on what the information that you just received now so there are things you don't negotiate in life and one of those important things you don't negotiate in life is what procrastination you don't negotiate on procrastination there are things you need to do in life that pushes you that you that each and every one of us we tend to push till tomorrow a lot of us things that we need to do we tend to keep pushing it till tomorrow why do you procrastinate why do you push things that you can do today till tomorrow you need to learn to move with certainty because the reason why many of us push things we can do today tomorrow is because we are not certain we're not sure of ourselves we don't believe in ourselves learn how to move with certainty 
You need to get things done right away because success likes speed. Get things done like the speed of light. Success, money, love speed. Slow and steady does not win the race in the business world. Fast and furious wins the race. That idea, that thing you are saying you will do, you will do. Let me let you know that a lot of people is already acting on it. So you need to learn how to bear with your fear. Because I know sometimes the reason why we procrastinate is because of what? Fear. Learn how to deal with your fear. Beat your fear. Overcome it and do what? Take action. Because many of us believe that... You, many of us believe, for those of us that are fearless, we believe that our life can make so much meaning once we cast away fear. So I'm speaking to each and every one of you right now. Do you know that your life can be completely different if only you choose to be fearless? If only you choose to cast away the fear. Yeah, fear is not a bad thing. Each and every one of us feels it. But allowing fear to keep you down, that is the crime. Les Brown will always say, one of my mentors will always say, feel the fear and still take action. So the difference between me speaking to you today and you listening over there is what? Fear. I choose to be fearless. I choose to, I choose to stand on my desires. I choose to stand on my feet. I choose to stand for the things I want. I choose to stand for my life. Not to stand for another person's life. Not to live another person's opinion. I choose to be fearless in daring my dreams. Being fearless is a muscle that needs to be built. Just the way we work hard to get in shape. Just the way we work hard to in a particular area of our life. A muscle must be built. So being fearless, you need to build that muscle. Even if you don't have eyes, you don't have hands, you don't have legs. But once you are courageous enough, look at Mr. Nick, um, Mr. Um, um, Nick Vusi. The young man that has no hand and legs. He has no hand and leg, but he's one of the greatest men that lives on planet Earth. Why? He shows to be courageous. He shows to cast away his fear. A lot of people that have limitations, they not allow their limitations to keep them down, but it allows them to live a limitless life because they choose to live a fearless life. So I want to let each and every one of us know today that with courage, you can build anything. With courage, it takes confidence and courage, boldness to make money. So you must be fierce and fearless in the business world. Kill your procrastination. If you eliminate fear and stay in a position without taking action, trust me, you will still not make money. Because once you are fearless, the next thing that complements fearless, a fearless individual is what? Action. Take massive action. No looking back. No thinking twice. Just take action. If you win, you win. If you fail, you learn and move on. Fail forward. So I want each and every one of us to know that if you are fearless without taking action on those things you need that needs to be done, then trust me, you are a loser. So in life, you don't get what you deserve. In life, you don't get what you want. In life, you get what you ask. Life gives you who you are. Life does not give you what you want. So you, life is not fair. That's reality. So you don't get in life what you want. You don't get in life what you deserve. You get in life who you are. What you stand up, go out and grab. That is what you get in life. Yeah, so you need to stay motivated. Get your motivation from your inner being. Don't wait for someone to motivate you. What motivates you? What are the things you really want to achieve in life? Take action on them. Overcome procrastination. Stop pushing tomorrow, next week, next month. What you can do today. Start acting, no matter how big. It is start acting today to overcome procrastination. You don't need 1000, in fact, you don't need to apply just like the diamond. You don't need to apply 1000 um, 1000 days, you don't need to wait for 1000 days in order to craft out a diamond. No procrastination when you want to do something, don't push it to tomorrow. Start it today, fearless. Don't think too much, just act. Don't think too much, act. Note that when you have a short period of time to create something meaningful, something of value, or get something done, when the option of time is reduced, fear is reduced. In essence, what am I saying? Fear fits on time. The food choice of fear is time. The more you entertain fear and you keep wasting time without acting, feeds your fear and increases your fear. So you want to reduce your fear, then kill fear with what? Action immediate action action and time 
the food of the food choice of fear is what time if you want to reduce your fear then reduce the time meaning execute immediately don't push it tomorrow execute now once you're afraid of something do it now 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 don't push it tomorrow because when you push it tomorrow you're feeding your fear and your fear is increasing if you want to reduce your fear then act on it now the lesser time you have to act on something makes you fearless it reduces your fear it makes you more proactive Yes, it makes you to eliminate your excuses and do what? Take action on things you need to do. So permit me to challenge each and every one of you today. When you procrastinate, what goes on in your mind? Many of us, when I ask, what's the reason why you're procrastinating? Some people say, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, so I don't know if it's right. See, let me tell you, many successful, successful people are unreasonable people. They are mad people. They act like mad people. They are crazy. Once something enters their head, they act. They don't say oh uh, nobody have done it i don't know how to they act and see how because they know it's in the acting they become they learn in the process and they become they discover more of themselves some people say oh i don't want to look bad in front of people guess what you are scared of you are scared of criticism do it for yourself not for people live your life for yourself dear your dream stop living other people's life your wife's life your mother's life your parents live your live life for yourself dear your dreams some people will say they are fear they are scared of failing then good news is if you're scared of failing then trust me be comfortable with poverty because that is where you belong don't ever desire massive success or being rich and wealthy because the truth is the location of success lies in failure avenue you must fail you fail your way to the top Failure is inevitable because that is the ladder we use in climbing to the gate of success. So you must keep failing. But the right thing to do is make failure, have a good relationship with your failure. Fail forward. Have a good company of people. Many of you say, oh, fear of losing something in future. Yes, successful people lose a lot of things, more especially friends. They lose friends as they climb the ladder. If the kind of friends you have are the same friends with you five years, ten years ago, and still your life is not changing, something is wrong, you need to cut away from all those relationships. Now, many of you would say, oh, I need more information. Trust me, the more you grow in life, you keep needing information. So the best thing is to act now. You can't know everything right now. It's in the process of you acting. Ideas are formed. They are not formed fully when you want to start something. But when you start taking action on them, they, they, they form in the process. Some of you say, I'm not ready. Some will say, oh, I'm not ready. It's not ready. See, you can never be ready. Successful people act despite when they are not ready because they know that by taking action, it pushes them to be ready. Even when they are not ready, they take action. Why? They refuse to feed on their fear. Some of you say, oh, I don't have what it takes. Trust me, everything you need is within you. God blessed us with a gold bank. With, with, with a gold mine, with the greatest gift on earth, and yet we don't value it because it was given to us free of charge. And what was that? Our mind. If you know how powerful your mind is, you know that God has blessed you with everything. And I'm telling you today, everything that you need to be successful, massively successful, is within you. It's all locked up in your mind. Unlock it. If you don't know how to unlock it, read books. Look for mentors. Surround yourself with great people that will challenge you to become more, to discover so much things that you don't know about yourself. Some of you say, oh, I'm too young, I'm too young, old, really. Cornel Sanders, 85 years, became a millionaire. He, he was broke at the age of 65. Tara, um, Tara Miko, at the age of 40, was still broke. So trust me, a lot of people are young out there making money, so you can never be too old or too young to make your dream a reality. Your youthfulness is in your mind. Now, some people say, oh, they won't take me serious, really. A lot of people don't desire success, so you need to manage your expectation. A lot of people in life don't desire success, but you need to move through all the no's to get to your yes. So what I want each and every one of us to do is work on what goes in your mind. Feed your mind with powerful things. Positive things happen to positive people. Negative things happen to negative people. If you keep feeding your mind with negative things, you're sowing negative energy in your mind, and your mind will harvest negativity. So what do you say to yourself? every day that makes you to keep procrastinating to wait write all those things that you keep saying to yourself that makes you procrastinate things you need to do tomorrow today you push it for tomorrow write it down then i need you to focus on it don't think twice just start taking action on it don't entertain fear just take action know that the food of fear is what time so the earlier you act on something the more the, the earlier you exec you execute on action and the lesser the fear you're going to feel so trust me 
Some of you say, oh, I'm a perfectionist. I like everything to be perfect. It's a lie. You're a liar. You're not a perfectionist. You're a quitter. You are already quitting on that thing. When you push things for tomorrow, you are quitting on, indirectly, you're quitting on those things that you're supposed to do. So I need each and every one of us to know that procrastination, procrastinating on something, you are indirectly telling yourself that you are quitting on that thing. Jeff Bess will always tell you that to take risks is cool. To, to, to think big is cool. The unexpected is cool. If you don't take risks in life, you can never grow. And if you don't grow, you will not know how good you are. And if you don't know how good you are, you can't be happy in life. And when you're not happy in life, what else is there in life? So why am I saying all this this morning? I'm saying all this this morning so that you can make a decision today to take action. I need you to know that money can come later. When something comes to your head, take action. Don't think about the money too much. Take action. Because until you start acting before you can produce massive results, money will come later. Due diligence will come later. Investors will come later. Don't think too much. Overthinking, too much analysis leads to paralysis. And that is why they say successful people are unreasonable people. They, 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 um, they are unreasonable. They don't think twice. They are mad people. They are crazy. They act in spite of their fear. They don't feed their fear. They act immediately in order to starve fear of its food, which is what? Time. So you don't need to change your location. Many of you tell me my location is the reason why I'm where I am today. My family, my this, my that. No. Your problem is your attitude. So start acting. Start taking action on things that you want to achieve in life. Take the step today. Because if that step is not taken, if that action is not taken, then you cannot become. Many of us spend 30 minutes chatting away our life. 30 minutes watching away movie, Netflix. Yeah, I'm guilty about it. And that's why I procrastinate things back then. But now, I'm now a master of my time. I don't procrastinate again. Because I act in spite of fear. I rather do today things I can, I'll push tomorrow. So in 30 minutes when you're wasting your life, trust me, a lot of people in 30 minutes are doing things that translate to money. They are doing things that translate to money. So how do you manage your time? Are your time being productive in activities? So what's the dictionary meaning of procrastination? Like I said before, procrastination is the action of delaying or postponing something that you can do today. So I challenge each and every one of us. Write down three things that you procrastinate on. Things that you keep saying that belongs to tomorrow and not today. Write them down. You end up doing nothing if you keep procrastinating. And keep, before you know what's happening, five years, ten years, seventy years has passed. You've, not, you've done nothing. And at the end of the day, you start regretting. Write down all those things you've been procrastinating on. Cast away your fear. Act, 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 act. Take action. Have the courage, the confidence. Dear your dream. If you don't do it now, trust me, you you'll be a wasted potential in the graveyard. So act on it. I need each and every one of us to know that time and distance has a lot. Time and distance have a lot to do with money. So the earlier you act on, on, on things that needs to be done, the closer you are to becoming financially free. So money and success love what? Speed. Money loves speed. Same with success. Remember, slow and steady does not win the race in the business world. Rather, fast and furious. Execution. Fast execution on action and idea makes you successful. So I need each and every one of us to know today that you need to take your time to collect money because time translates to money. Money translates to assets. Asset translates to cash flow. And when I talk about assets, I'm not just talking about the appreciating assets. I'm talking about, I'm talking about income generating assets, income producing assets. So take your time today to collect money by acting on your, on your ideas, acting on your fear. And how do you act on your fear? Don't feed it with time. Once something comes to hell, do it immediately, irrespective of what will happen. Yes, starve your fear of its food, which is time, by taking massive action on the things you're supposed to do. And do it today. Don't push it to tomorrow. I live my life as if today is my last. So live your life as if if you should go to bed and you don't wake up today, you will die a happy person. Always live your life as if every day is your last day on earth. And trust me, guys, you stop procrastinating. So once you stop procrastinating, you start taking action. You discover that you are now selling value. You discover that you have more time to sell value, to sell things, to raise money, to buy assets that will give you financial freedom. So I, help, I, I, I know that this series, and I hope that this series is helping someone out there. So please, I challenge you, act on what I said. Even if you didn't get anything today, just know that action on things that needs to be done today 
is important. Stab your fear of eat food, which is time, and act today and stop procrastination. And you'll be surprised as to the amount of massive success you are going to achieve. Thank you very much, everyone. Please let me know if the information I just gave you today, if the content I just dished out on you today on procrastination, how you acted on it and how it changed your life. I always like a feedback. Giving me a feedback will help me know that um, that a lot of people are having value, are benefiting and are receiving value in their life. And this will make me to do more for each and every one of us. So I remember my humble self in Nent Augusta. If you're new to my channel, kindly click on the subscribe button so that you'll be the first person to be notified once a content is being uploaded on this channel. Thank you very much and have a great and wonderful day. Bye-bye.